All right, let's see what she has to say, Mrs. Andari. <laughs> you hear about the wedding? Absolutely not. What wedding? Magnifica Falora, the one with the missing dowry. Kosh found it, returned it, and now she's agreed to marry him for the future of Tanith for some drivel. Zira thinks our old guildmaster is behind this. She wants Nicholas to pay for betraying us. So do I. Yeah, no, for sure. I'll go speak with uh, Zira for sure. Less than so Zira. She was pacing about in the den. Going to put a furrow in the floor if she isn't careful. Okay. Why would Magnific uh, Magnifica Flalor whatever marry Kosh? You sound like Thrag, going on about the whims of nobles. Go ahead, ask him, and feel your head start to spin. My head's spinning right now, different reasons. Okay, goodbye. So let's go speak with uh, the guild master and see what she's got to say about this. I wonder, I mean, we have evidence to suggest that he's alive, uh, Nicholas. But we haven't seen him yet, so it's still up. Like, the it's the question is still up. There you are. You heard about the wedding? Yes, I did. This is our chance to repay Nicholas for selling out the Thieves' Guild. What does Nicholas have to do with the wedding, though? Nicholas must have planned all this. Stealing the dowry, using it as leverage on Flora. Now she's bound to marry Kosh, his puppet. So we're going to crash the wedding. Oh, we're about to become some wedding crashers. I'm so down for that. Uh, why would we do that, though? <clears throat> if Magnifica Flora learns exactly who she's about to marry, she'll turn the iron wheel on Kosh. And if we threaten Kosh's future, Nicholas will scuttle into the open. I look forward to stepping on him. So, basically, we're trying to just expose him for who he is, truly. And... That would be enough to convince her to turn on the iron wheel. So it kind of makes sense. The logic is there, but it's kind of... It's it's kind of risky, because we don't know how she's going to react, you know? So, alright, tell me what you need. Silver Claw said he'd help with invitations. Meet him at his shop, down by the harbor. Down by the bay. Oh, okay, anyways. So, what what happens when we find Nicholas, though? I haven't decided. But whatever happens, you deserve to be there. Aw, thank you. That was, that was cute. That was nice. Appreciate it. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I always forget how to get out of here. There's like two entrances. This is the way for the city. I'm assuming it's here. A little extra coin on the side. Absolutely it's not. For a good cause. Psst, you. Over here. Absolutely not. That's the Dark Brotherhood. No, thank you. Not yet, at least. I don't know if I want to do the Dark Brotherhood or start the Orsinium storyline. Either way, you let me know down in the comment section. I'm, I'm very, very interested to see what you guys want to see first. The Orsinium DLC or the Dark Brotherhood. Either is fine with me. I'm excited for both. That's going to hurt. Ouch. What heal do I have? Not not one that's quickly acting. All right, how far do I have to go anyways? <clears throat> also, there's a door that I have to go in. It's actually down here. Oh, yeah, of course. She did say we have to speak to Silver Claw. Forgot about you. What's up, Broski? Oh, hello. Hi. Zira sent word I should expect you. Yeah, uh, Silverclaw? What's wrong? Every important merchant in Abba's Landing received a wedding invitation. Every single one. But not Silverclaw. <laughs> Why do you even care, Silverclaw? Which merchants exactly, though? Lord Wallavir, for one. Oh, yeah, him. That paranoid cheat lounges about the market as though he owns every tile on the walls. Or that lush lady Valina. Mm, yeah. She won't even attend. Just use it as an excuse to buy another dress from Perseus Loke. <laughs> she's sweet on him, you know. Oh, so she's into him. She might be an Imperial, though, too. Lady Bolina? 
Because we know Perseus Loke, or Locke, or whatever his name is. We know he's an Imperial. I this She might be one. Uh, well, anyways, I'm actually here because of the wedding. I need, it, I need to get an invitation. Who do I steal it from? Hmm. I dislike them equally. Lord Wallavir would keep it in his pocket. Were you suffer enough, you could take it from him. Lady Balina would certainly leave it upon her bedroom dresser. Slip past her mentioned servants and house guards to retrieve it. So we have an either... Both of them are involving stealth. So we have to either pickpocket it from... Wallavir himself. That's risky. Or we could just break into Lady Belina's house and get it. I think we're gonna go with Belina. Good, good. When you do, meet me at your thieves' den. I may have experience in duplicating official documents for my records. You see. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with Belina, only because she's not going to the wedding anyway, so that would arise less suspicion. All right, where? Uh, so that's his. This is. This is Belina's house. Okay, so. My my writing speed is only at 13. That it's absolute trash. I'm not gonna lie. I might. I might just say screw it and buy the rest of the speed because this is this is hideous. This is horrendous. Although. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, it's 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 terrible. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm here. Okay, I'm hidden. Nobody can see me. I'm incognito. I am one with the shadows. Also, I'm pretty good with pickpocketing. I mean, with a lockpicking, apparently. Let's see how good in the shadows I actually am. Okay, so it's upstairs. You don't see me. <gasps> you wouldn't leave, so I called the guard. No, you didn't. I didn't even see that dude. I only saw the dude that was sitting down. Uh-oh. I'm going back here until he goes back in that direction. Once he goes in that direction, I'm going to take the long way. I'm going that way and then... Hugging the wall basically until I get there. I might even hide back there because by the time I get there, he might be on his way back. So let's see how this turns out. Oh crap, he's coming over here. Her oh he's a he's a Nord. You need to hurry up and get out of here, man. I got business to take care of. Business involving some major trickery and thievery. And crashing of weddings. I wish cars were a thing. I would just drive into the wedding. Crash into the stage. Before anybody gets there, obviously. We're not trying to kill anybody. We're not the Dark Brotherhood. What is this guy doing? You're going the wrong way, broski. He's making it so hard for me. I might actually... Well, there's some lag, but I think I'm good to go. Oh, I did it. Lady Belina, you and guest are cordially invited to attend the union between Lord Kosh of Abaz Landing and Magnifica Flora... Flora Alda... No... That word. Jewel of Tanith at... Uh, Habalajad uh, Palace Appropriate attire is required Entertainment and food will be provided Well into the evening Vows are exchanged Within the palace Each attendee is expected to bring a gift Well That might be an issue there Because I don't have a gift What does this say Too much to read all right, so he's already over there. He's already back there. Oh my god, the exit. <gasps> what 
What can I say? What can I say? I am an expert. Wonderful about wandering a city streets with no destination. Whatever you say, Bastion. Does Bastion not like? I guess I should have probably put him away before I did any of that. <clears throat> so now that I got the invitation, where do I go now? Oh yeah, back to the thieves' guild, right? Let's go. Can, how do I get there? This place is so confusing to navigate through. See, that's that's my point exactly. Get out of my way, sir. Uh oh. I totally forgot that I owe money. 115 gold to be exact. How do I get out of here? Well, that's not gonna work. You don't see me. Oh crap, he saw me. I have powerful friends. Thank you. Why is myself being surprised? Why do they not like me? I don't know. I guess I'm not a very likable human being. Or technically, I'm I'm a dark elf, so... I'm not a very likable dark elf. I legitimately don't know where I'm going, so I'm kind of like winging it. And... Trying to figure it out as I'm going along. Well, he's not going to like me. So let's go around this way. I'm pretty sure I'm making this harder for myself. Uh oh. You don't see nothing. Oh, there it is. We made it. Hiya! Excuse me. Excuse me, coming through. Whoa, man, that was a long trek. It really, really was. Man, I got like ridiculous ping right now, don't I? 421. At least it's not 999. That would suck. Uh, right here. Silver Claw. Guess what I got? Elsa, for the third time, Did you I get hear your concerns and ignore them at your peril. Well, I'm in a wedding at Hubalajad Palace. Just imagine the spread. Is that all? Is that all you guys got to say? All right, Silver Claw. Guess what I got? Did you get the invitation? Absolutely. Who's did you acquire? No, no, don't tell me. I want to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, well, I have the invitation. Here it is. Take it. Let me see here. And guest. Oh, this is good. The invitation allows for a single companion. Once you select your guest, you should visit the Diamond Thimble. If you aren't clothed in one of Perseus Locke's outfits, you'll stand out like a sore claw. <laughs> All right, I'll have to dress up. You don't have to dress up. You get to dress up. But your companion will need to acquire an outfit as well. So go on. I'll be over here. My companion? The invitation will be ready in no time at all. Is he talking about Bastion? How do I how do I get him a Choose your date for the wedding. So it's either Silver Claw, Velsa, uh, Gwen and walk softly as fashionably amazing as walk softly as Gwen is kind of cute So, who are you going to bring with you to the palace? I hope you say Velsa. I'd love to see her bedecked in finery Well, I was actually thinking about you as a matter of fact. Do you want to be my date for the wedding? <clears throat> you, you what? You're actually the best choice Uh I I don't know if I want to take the romantic approach or the practical approach. You're the you're the best choice for I am curious about this though. I'm so curious. I'm going to go practical. Uh, you're the best choice for reaching the upper floors of the palace. Thank you for not making this strange. Ah. All right, partner. You have a date. She would have turned me down. I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I'm used to. I'm used to being shut down. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell was that? That was. That sounded creepy. 
Where are we going? Sounds like a cat somewhere. <clears throat> so, boss landing. So, we gotta go to the diamond... Whatever. Where's that at on the map? It is right there. So, luckily, it's actually not that far from where we're at right now. So, it should be too far of a trek. But, I guess we'll find out in a second. Seeing as this place is like a literal maze. Wait, do I have... Do I have something to put on? Wait, what? I almost fell on homeboy's head. Oh, look, I'm already here. Oh, this is... This is Perseus Loke's place, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A pleasure, Lady Bellina. I always enjoy dressing you up. Then you should come by my mansion later to collect your payment. Have I mentioned my husband is away? Three times, in fact. My assistant will bring you the bill. She's cheating on... She wants to cheat on her husband. I can't say she's cheating because that... Well, I mean, I guess it, I guess she is cheating in, in the actions, you know what I mean? Maybe not physically yet. Garbage human being. Ah, my unlikely savior returns. Zira sent word of your stylistic needs. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, she said I need to choose an outfit. How does this work? Well, any of the selections you see here should fit. I have an eye for these things. Uh, please note, the outfit shall be on loan. I humbly ask you return it with the exact same number of holes as when it left my establishment. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna get stabbed or something? What do you suggest? Oh, that's like asking a parent to pick their favorite child. Each is special in its own way. Delicate fabrics and exhilarating patterns breathe life into whoever dons them. I don't mean to oversell it, but you shall feel born anew. I can relate. I have three kids of my own. If you were to ask me what my favorite or who my favorite child is... Honestly, I wouldn't. They all have. They're all special to me in different ways. So I completely understand where he's coming from. Although I guess he looks at his articles of clothing as parts of his children in a way, which is kind of weird. But okay. Anyways, thanks for the advice. Oh, go with what <laughs> speaks to you. The first choice is always the best one. I don't know about that. Are you safe here? Is it the iron wheel after you? The last time I was here, dude, they destroyed the place and you were looking a little green. <laughs> Not after the merchant lords caught wind. It's good to be the preeminent tailor of Abad's Landing. Chief Inspector Ron Beek himself sent a personal apology. Something about excess zeal on the part of his underling. Okay. Well, before we uh, left for Al the I can't read none of these words, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. That word. To, uh, Ziera said you had, uh, been inside. Did you ever walk Moloch's ba uh, path? Oh, that horrid place of darkness. Magnifica Falora tried to lead me through, but I panicked and fled. It was sheer luck that I didn't fall to my death. And if she hadn't given me that trinket, we wouldn't be speaking today. Okay. Was it an amulet? <clears throat> yes. It had a crystal holding a small amount of her blood. I mentioned it to your old guildmaster when he asked about the particulars of Aldenobia tomb. It's strange. I seem to have misplaced it. I haven't seen it in months. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Are the iron wheels still giving you trouble? Not after the merchant lords caught wind. Okay. It's good to be the pre- Well, goodbye. Let's pick an outfit. Well, I mean, I think the... Well, this right here, though, looks great. I was gonna go with this right here. This looks great, too. Maybe Bastion can wear that. Or maybe I should wear that, and Bastion can wear this one. I'll wear this. Remarkable. As though the outfit chose you. I look up. I have to miss you in that. I look fantastic. Hi, Zira. My, my. You don't exactly clean up, <laughs> but you look absolutely roguish. 
I'll need my own outfit for the wedding. Something with a covered face. Wait, is she my date? I know I picked up. Uh, uh, whoa, what is? Why is she so sad? Look at her. <laughs> I lost my train of thought already. Just look at what is wrong with her. Oh my god, she looks ridiculous. Uh, what do you mean? Did Silverclaw forge you an invitation as well? Not exactly. If Nicholas is working with Kosh, he may have given my description to the guards. I'll need your help to get inside. When you gain entrance to the palace, distract whoever watches the gates from within. I'll do the rest. All right, for sure, man. I think I could do that. Good. Here's the wedding <clears throat> invitation, straight from the desk of Silverclaw. After you meet your date at Hubalajad Palace, present this to the gateman. I'll watch for your distraction. Sounds good. Thank you. Where am I? I look fantastic. Oh my god. I'm digging this. Digging this. Matches my hair, too. I gotta see myself. Hold up. Woo! Sexy hu- uh, well, I almost said human being again. But, he's not a human being. He is a dark elf. Get out of my way. You look amazing. <gasps> Oh my god, Quinn, you look fantastic once it actually lo oh yep, you look top notch. I haven't dressed up like this since my academy. About your outfit. I know, I know, it's terrible. Nothing like I used to wear at home. No, actually, it looks fantastic on you. It's nice of you to say so. But we both know this suits me as well as a ticket for a month-long sea voyage. I mean, I get that it's not you. Like, this isn't you. But you do look great regardless. We should get going, though. Hello, m m you Look at you. Such impeccable fashion belongs on the other side of this gate. Though I am a fool to request it, might I have your invitation? Yeah, no, no, of course. Here you go. Yes. Everything in order as expected. Refreshments shall be served until the wedding begins. Sounds good. And might I compliment your impeccable timing? We were just about to lock the gates. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty impeccable, isn't it? So why are you locking the gates anyways? Don't want any riffraff finding their way inside. A wise suggestion of Chief Inspector Ron Beak. He's to officiate the ceremony, did you know? But of course you did. Please, come in. Tonight, your safety is guaranteed by the Iron Wheel and House Guards alike. Oh, this is going to go bad, isn't it? This is going to go bad. I just know it. Hubalajad. Hu Hubalajad. Hu Hubal oh. Dude, I can't read any of these names. It's just... It, my tongue cannot speak them. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay. No, not, not a boss line. Okay, let me call. There we go. Quinn. It's a bit much in here. Whoever built this palace was trying too hard. No, I mean, I don't disagree, but we need to get uh, Ziera inside. Any ideas? <coughs> Do you think the doorman could be convinced? If not, a distraction of some kind could pull him away from the door. Whatever you decide, I'll back your play. Ooh, yikes. Distraction. Let's let's talk to him. I'm pretty sure I can, you know, silver tongue this. Are you lost? Wedding's in the other direction. Uh, excuse me, kind gentleman. I'm actually expecting someone to join me. Is there any possible way you can help me out with this? What do you mean? You were the last through the gate. As long as I'm standing here, no one else is getting in. You fool! It's Magnifica Florina of uh, Fl the. The maid, the main person of this event. She's distinguished as a servant, uh, disguised as a servant. I'll need an explanation. And if I'm not satisfied, you can join Magnifica Falor on the <laughs> other side of the gate. Look, one of her cousins plans to usurp her, okay? Don't drink loose li uh, his loose lips. And he'll prone... Uh, and he's prone to brag. Huh. I heard rumors about talent intrigue. But having to do that on her own wedding day, I almost feel sorry for her. I uh, need to check on one of the guests. Don't want to see anyone when I get back, if you follow my meeting. 
No, not really, but okay, thank you. Make it quick. Hurry up. Why is Good she work. mad? Come, we should speak somewhere private. She is angry. Look at her. What is wrong with her? Okay, whatever. Zira, you look absolutely fantastic. Perfect timing. I can't exactly climb the palace walls in this outfit. It kind of reminds me of a of Aladdin. I don't know why. Maybe the whole aesthetic, you know, is just the whole feel. Reminds me of Aladdin. I don't know. So what's the plan? Before the wedding, the groom should be presented to his guests. An old Tanith tradition. Wherever Kosh is, Nicholas won't be far behind. We'll need to keep an eye on him. Avoid drawing attention to ourselves. All right. Where will Kosh uh, greet his guests at? Everyone seems to be gathering closer to the palace. <clears throat> you lead the way. I'll watch for Nicholas. Okay, sounds good. I'm ready to go. <sighs> this is a nice change of scenery from the den. It's actually pretty nice. I can't believe this is someone's residence, pretty much. Oh my god, this is... Go well, put that away before you get just into trouble. It's okay, though. We got Bastion. I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. You saying I'm not drunk suggests you are drunk. What's this? That's something Belsa would say. Okay. To the palace. Am I supposed to... Where exactly am I supposed to go? There's nothing... There's nothing here. Everyone! Oh, yikes. I require your attention. This is it. Stay close. Let's see if Nicholas makes an appearance. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our host for the evening. May I present the impending husband of Magnifica Flora, Lord Koss. <gasps> Welcome to my home. I must thank all of you for joining me on this momentous occasion. That's Nicholas. Please, eat and drink your fill. Soon, I shall speak to you not as a humble merchant, but as a noble of Tanith. Nicholas is Kosh? What? So that's Nicholas? His voice is oilier than his hair. <laughs> Quinn, that was a good one. I can't believe Kosh is Nicholas. Damn it. I should have put it together. Nicholas played us. He played everyone. There was never any Kosh to begin with. Wow. Are you certain? How is that even possible? I don't know how Nicholas reinvented himself as a reclusive merchant lord, but he managed to do so. He could have been planning this for years. Bastard. What do you think we should do? We need to stop the wedding. Actually, we need for Laura to do so. I think this can still work. Let's split up, learn where she is and how we can reach her. I need to come up with a very convincing argument. Yeah, all right, for sure. Uh, I'll meet you when I'm done, then. I wish I could pull that off. Too many jangling bits. The moment I climb, not a server's coming what? from the palace kitchen. I wanted you to finish. Maybe they have a key. 50% chance? Now you've done it. Did I, did I get it, though? I did get it. Did I get it? I don't I don't even know to be honest. Or maybe I didn't. But Bastion hated that. So I need to be careful. You know what? I'm gonna dismiss him for a second. Come on. Whoa. That was an accident. Did I get it? I didn't get it? Why is he suspicious? I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. You can't escape. Pay your bounty and no one will get hurt. Except me. Trouble at home, you know? Here, pay. Well, that went better than I expected. Same. 
That guy's gonna be impossible. Unless my cousin Magnifica Falora. Oh crap! We are quite close, the two of us. Quite close. Find me a good red wine, and I'll put in a word on your behalf. Can I talk to him? Oh, I could talk to him. Have you met my cousin Magnifica Falora? <coughs> Said not to embarrass her in this little backwater of a town. Very well, I told her. I'll keep my mouth shut by filling it with wine. Did I mention she's my cousin? I don't recall. Yeah, multiple times, actually. Uh, do you know where I could find her? If you hope to talk her out of this folly, the eight no, I've tried. She's usually much better at fending off grasping credins such as this Kosh fella. Hello. Hmm. Your outfit contains a bit of silver weave, just like mine. It does? Modesty is for the poor. If you were to continue my argument with my cousin, perhaps you could overwhelm her with reason. Say... What's your favorite drink? I can tell you prefer quality spirits, as I do. Of course, of course. I actually prefer a nice red wine. I knew it. And what do you prefer to pair with it? I can tell we have similar thoughts there as well. A lamb from the uh, from the deserts of Alakir. Ooh, no. Ooh. Yeah, a lamb from the deserts of the Alakir. Desert. Lamb? How did a beggar such as you make it from Sentinel's back alleys? I insist you excuse me. I must drink until I forget our unfortunate encounter. Did it not work? I should have said... I should have said Skyrim. Oh, I'm... I'm this ruining this. Me. You! There's gristle in the camel milk, she says. Of course there's gristle. Who wants milk you can't chew? No job is worth this. The resplendent Magnifica Flora shan't require your attendance. Bah. Shan't? <laughs> uh, who said that to you? Magnifica Flora's handmaid. Everything about her smells like roses, if you get me. Fusses over the bride like a doting aunt. She says the milk is for Magnifica Flora, but I know she drinks it herself. Some wine mixed in could loosen her up and cover up my spittle. If you tell me where to find her, I'll get you some wine. She's not my patron. If you help me, I'll tell you whatever you want. The Somerset Hills 572 is subtle enough, but there's a group of fops who always hoard the bottles. Take one when they're distracted, or they're sure to cause a scene, which neither of us wants. Yeah, okay, sounds good. So I gotta steal some wine. Don't mind me. Alright. Or do I have to... Where would I find it? I'm assuming that's this over here. Get out of my way. I think that's what this is. Come on, baby. Perfect. Nobody around? Alrighty. <laughs> Get me that bottle, and I'll tell you whatever you care to know about Magnifica Flora. Hold on, alright. I, your magnificent uh, bringer of alcoholic beverages, Brought you a bottle of Somerset Hills 572. Wonderful. Magnifica Flora's handmaid shall soon have her own bowl of milk wine. Entirely free of gristle. So, back to business. Where can I find uh, Magnifica? Master Kosh installed her in his own bedchamber. It's upstairs. You can't miss it. Don't let the iron wheel see you. They're all through the palace like beetles on honey cake. What does that mean, installed her in his own bedchamber? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never heard anything worded like that before. Maybe you guys could shed some light down in the comment section. So, I still need to get a key. <sighs> this is going to be the hardest thing ever, isn't it? 
<laughs> Look, he's standing still. No! That was my time to shine. You don't see me. That's all we need, partner. Got it. Let's find Zira. Oh, that's her. Not again. I can't believe it. Hello. The palace is crawling with iron wheel. Lead the way. We'll follow from the shadows. I'm scared. Guys, I'm scared. The stealth game has never been my strong suit. I've always enjoyed doing it. Doesn't mean I'm good at it. So it's above. There's like a bunch of sneaky things everywhere. What does that mean? Does that mean there's... I don't see anybody. So this person doesn't look... <gasps> no more warnings. Get out. Sorry. So I think they can snitch. Please don't snitch. No, it's above. So it's got to be this way. Oh man, how do I get over there? There's a dude right here, sweeping his life away. <gasps> Oblivion with this. I'm calling the guard. No, you're not. You didn't see anything. That worked out fantastic, actually. Even though now I owe a thousand gold, pretty much. Oh, hello. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your savior. Flora, we came to warn you. Cautious oh, not the man he seems. He's a merchant lord of Abba's Landing. That's one step above the scum they scrape from ship hulls. Is there any other grand revelation before I call the guards? Actually. If you can barely stand him, then what does it hurt to hear us out? Go on, partner. Tell her. Hey, Magnifica. People say this is not how I imagined my wedding to be. I love they that outfit. Using stories of what went wrong, trying to outdo each other's tales. Calling the guards on wedding crashers isn't one I've heard. Why shouldn't it be the story I tell? Because Kosh is an alias. You're about to marry a man who stole your. Uh, you're about to marry the man who stole your dowry. The thieves' guild stole my dowry. In doing so, they upset my standing in Tenneth. But far worse, they desecrated the remains of my ancestor, Denobia. When they couldn't remove the jeweled crown from her head, they separated it from her body. So, it was a Thieves' Guild job, but it was Kosh's plan to go at it on his own afterwards, all by himself. But, yeah, your future husband did that. He framed the Thieves' Guild. The merchant lords of Abba's Landing are exceptionally crooked. They buy from pirates who raid Tenneth Waters and bandits who raid Tenneth Roads. But plundering ancestral tombs? That is too far, <clears throat> even for them. He used your dowry to become a merchant lord. Before that, he led the Thieves' Guild. Kosh, head of the Thieves' Guild? You say he betrayed his own people to steal a dowry for some mad plot to marry a noble of Tenneth? If you are bard sent by my cousin, your imaginations are sorely lacking. Why not say Kosh rode a dragon? Because he's not Kosh. His name is Nicholas, and we could prove it. He was behind the tomb, uh, the tomb robbery. With what time? My escort arrives soon to begin the wedding. I have accepted my fate, as you must accept yours. Unless you can produce the skull of Denobia herself. You can tell your fanciful stories to the Iron Wheel. Yikes. <clears throat> I that didn't work. I have indulged this madness for long enough. Magnifica Flora, are you almost ready? The guests are assembling within the palace. Magnifica Flora is indisposed. She'll be ready in just a moment. Do you intend to keep me here? Look around. There's nowhere to go. From what I've heard of Nicholas, he'd never let himself be cornered. We should look for hidden passages. Okay, well, let me see. All of my reasons spitting my first and favorite seasons. 
to see the blue water shine in the sun or the green trees inviting a climb. Oh, what fun. Okay. The air is cool and I'm uh, and I am without thought as I sleep on the rocks which aren't yet too hot. So seasons rocks and I wake to the endless fields okay fields of green grass not faded pastures or leaves or a leaf covered mass this is why springs is my first and favorite of seasons summer fall and winter all I have less reasons so I'm assuming <clears throat> Hmm. Green trees, rocks, green grass. Uh, what was the first one again? Green trees. Green trees. It's gotta be. That's not green though, that's the fall. And this is more of a pasture, isn't it? Do I have to do I have to look this up? Summer, fall, and winter. So there's three, right? Summer, fall, winter. So this would be number two. This would be number three. I'm assuming Actually, I think I might go with this one. If it's not this one, it's the other one. So that one fall winter. Did that work? There must be a pattern. Try another combination. Okay, so let's let's do this with this one first. And then fall winter. And then this one last maybe? There must be a pattern. Try another combination. On um, hmm The air is cool, and I'm without thought as I sleep on the rocks, which aren't yet too hot. Spring is my first and favorite. This looks like a spring. So spring. Come here, spring. Rocks. So, the air is cool and I'm without thought. I'm going, but then which one would be pastures? That one's pastures right there. So, if that one's pastures and then the other one is winter. So, that one would be last. Endless fields of green grass. Well, I'm looking it up. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure it out. Or find it, I mean. It's called Forever Hold Your Peace. Because <clears throat> if I do this all on my own, it's going to take forever. Let's be real. 
So spring a character near the middle standing in a ruin surrounded by... Yes. So I was right on that one. Summer's the gazelle. Fall, the two characters standing. Yeah, I figured this one was fall. So I mean, I was on the right track. I could have figured this out. I was definitely on the right track. That's a good thing. Well, well. A portion of the dowry Nicholas decided not. And this must be Denobia's crown. Nicholas, you doomed yourself. <laughs> Sierra. I knew Nicholas kept trophies from his heists. I used to smooth it over with the guild. One of his eccentricities, I'd say. Becoming Kosh hasn't altered his compulsion. He desecrated Denobia's remains, cut off her head. Now, we return the favor. Wait, what do you mean? I'll show Falora what Nicholas really is. She wants Denobia's crown as proof? I'll give it to her, along with her ancestor's skull. Once I have her attention, she'll listen. Uh... What do you need me to do? Find your way to the wedding crowd. Once Nicholas is revealed as a fraud, escort your date from the palace. I'll see you at the den soon enough. You're in charge until my return. Okay, sounds like a plan. Magnifica Falora, <laughs> there's something you need to see. So, I gotta get to the... To the courtyard? Storage room. I'm gonna have to pay this 500 gold, aren't I? That's gonna suck. I don't even know how to get through this place. What does this lead to? Well, that's the courtyard, but apparently I can't get in there. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Tend to... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Even this... Oh, there it is. There's Nicholas, but I don't see Zira. Is this straight? Today, Lord Kash of Abba's Landing joins with Magnifica <coughs> Falora, the Jewel of Tanith. It is my honor, as a duly appointed officer of the Iron Wheel, to officiate their union. Stop! There is no honor in what this, is this union. Guards! Zira, you're alive? I. That is. What is the meaning of this? More importantly, why do you have the desecrated remains of my ancestor? The Iron Wheel is approaching. We have to leave now. There must be some mistake. I want to hear this, though. Chief Inspector Ronby, <coughs> take everyone into custody. I want this mess sorted. No. It's too late, Vizira. We need to go now. Oh, Iron crap. Wheel. Secure all exits. None shall leave the palace grounds. Question everyone here. Be thorough. Falora, my darling, I've been framed. Oh no! You to reconsider. Give it a rest, Nicola. Whining doesn't suit you. Quiet, please. We'll have enough time to spit them inside. I need Bastion. Why am I in combat? Oh, this guy. Here, I have one of those too. Whoops. Can I get Bastion now? Okay, well I got Bastion, but I'm gonna have to sneak my way through right now. Whoa. What did I miss? Oh my god. This is all bad. We will make it through this. I hope. Am I able to get through this? How do I get upstairs? Oh, there's a crack. Okay, so I I think we're golden for a second. I can't release her. Oh no. Oh snap! You didn't see nothing. A fight? They saw something. Go back into sneak. The exit's down there. I'm gonna have to kill this guy, aren't I? 
Or not this guy, but this chick. Hurry up and go away. Oh no, he's, he's coming this way. You don't see nothing. I should have hidden that thing, but... Oh well, I guess it's not that important. I could just go around. Oh, no, 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 you don't see me. Go away. Bastion, don't get caught. Neither you, Quen. You guys are pretty stupid, so. <laughs> Says the guy that's probably about to get caught. Hey, I made it. There's a prop. Crap. Where are you? Oh, I'm so screwed. Bastion, I need your assistance here. Good job, Bastion, by the way. You're an absolute savage. Uh. I need to hurry up and get this way. <clears throat> okay. It's working. It's working well, actually. <gasps> that might not work. <clears throat> I think I made it. Ooh. Ooh, what do I do? Walk this way, that's what I do. Yo, I think I made it. That split up. I'll meet you at the den. The others need to hear what happened. What do you mean we need to split up? We were having a nice date. She's already breaking up with me. It's messed up. Why does no one love me? Well, we're golden until I get arrested for 300 gold. <clears throat> Sorry, 350 gold. That was close. Halt. Oh, there it goes. Enough. I just take my gold Pay already. Your Next time, I shall require blood as well as gold. Shut up, dude. I will do absolutely nothing. Oh, we still got that same problem, though. Having to navigate through this entire town, trying to find the Thieves' Guild, which we found pretty quick. Shut up. I don't know who said that, but shut up. That sounds disgusting. At least we made it to Thieves' Den. Excuse me. Oh look, it's a fellow thief. Zier is going to be ecstatic. Now let's walk softly. Oh, yeah, I have to talk to him. Hey! Your date made it back before you. Informed us of what happened at the wedding. Don't blame yourself. Zira told you to leave. <clears throat> so she got arrested. Does everyone know about what happened at the wedding? Yes, Zira's capture was an unfortunate turn of events. But Nicholas is the Iron Wheel's prisoner as well. A small reason to celebrate. What about Zira? Magnifica Falora has her dowry, and Nicholas is behind bars. The Iron Wheel won't be here much longer. We'll have a chance at freeing Zira in the chaos of their departure, whenever that is. But that's more your call, isn't it? What do you mean? Zira said you were in charge until she returned to the den. That <sighs> makes you the acting guildmaster. Boss. Wow, what? How did that happen? Just so we're clear, an <clears throat> acting guild master has no real power. Oh, okay. But it makes you sound important, so we may as well call you that. Also, you get the blame if anything goes wrong. You know how it is. Uh, what can we do about Zira? For now, nothing. Until we learn where they've taken her, there is little we can do. But we will learn. I'm certain of that. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. 
And by that, I mean, there was no real plan, was there? Hey. All right, let's get rid of that. So we go in this direction. Oh, no, wait. I need to find that one Khajiit again. Because that Khajiit gives me all the quests I need. Is it this way? There she is. Alright, let's talk to her so that we can continue this story.